they do happen, here's what you should be doing with them people. Just take them out that behind the barn, go ahead and beat them with some tin foil, and then bring them back on around. They'll be all right. What's up, everybody? Thanks for watching JTTV. So glad you're here hanging out with us today. We're talking about friends, buds, buddies, day ones, real ones, whatever it is that you want to be, Freddie, Sam, Carly, Drake, and Josh, Sam and Gus, everybody wants a friend. They even made a show called Friends because friends are awesome. You want somebody who you can talk to, who you can tell your secrets to, who you can tell your sadness to. I don't even know if that's a real thing. Telling somebody your sad, yeah, you can tell somebody your sad. Telling your sadness to people that you can just laugh with, that gets you and you get them and you got the inside jokes and the secrets and the stuff and everybody wants a friend. Friends are awesome. It's the best. Love it. Well, what do you do if a relationship turns toxic? And so I want to help you figure out how to navigate unhealthy or toxic relationships. What would you consider a toxic friendship? Uh, so my duo's partner has this e-girl that's like always asking him to cash app her. I think that's pretty toxic. Like if, um, like if they don't do what you want and like whenever you ask them to do it, because friends should love you to do whatever you want whenever you need it. Like that should be what friendship is like. So that's probably toxic if they don't do what you want. What do you think a toxic friendship looks like? Um, if you're just like giving and giving and you just keep giving and they're not giving, that's like, that's like super toxic. I've had so many friendships like that. It's like super toxic. That's what I think. Right? You know, I think it's uh, just being able to be yourself. I think most people, for me anyway, they, they only like me if I talk like this and I'm wrecking people. But uh, I don't know. I just... I feel like I can be myself around you, and uh, like we could be friends. Do you want to like, grab some coffee or maybe go to like a trampoline park or something? When dealing with toxic friendships, you usually have three situations going on. Number one, you got into the friendship, and then all of a sudden you realize, oh snap, <laughs> this is not healthy. This person is what? And suddenly, or over time, you begin to go in different directions. You're going in a positive direction, they're going in a negative direction, and you just feel stuck. My brother Anakin, I loved you. Or you've been friends for a long time, it's been toxic for a long time, but you're finally realizing it or you've just had enough. What do you do? Maybe you're unhealthy and needy and so you stay connected to them because it makes you feel good even though you know it's not good for you. For instance, if you are looking for acceptance and love from somebody like your parents who's very important in your life and you don't have that, you might try to find it in friends even though they're toxic for you. Maybe you're afraid of losing the friendship because let's face it, whether it's healthy or toxic, losing somebody, it just hurts. Many times we don't want to change because it's more comfortable to stay the same than to change things and see what else is out there. The last thing could be fear, fear of being lonely, fear of the backlash of moving on, or just fear of the unknown. So how do you navigate, deal with, get out of toxic relationships? Let's talk about that. So here I'm gonna give you five ways to avoid or navigate toxic friendships. Ready? Here we go. Number one, you can avoid getting into toxic friendships by not forcing friendships to become best friends and everything all at once, all right? Give it time to develop naturally so you get to know this person and know, hey, is this somebody that I really want to have my life partnered with and best friends with? Are they actually a good best friend? Are they? Number two is kind of a hard reality to grasp because we want everything in our life to stay the same always. But the truth is, is friendships are usually seasonal, not lifelong. And the season could be short or the season could be for a long time. But the reality is usually it's going to change. That means that when it does start to change, that we have to just let it happen and go with the flow. Now, if they are going in a toxic direction and that's why it's changing, you have to remember that God has a plan and a purpose for you. And if you go in that direction, it's going to hurt the great things that God has in store for you. You have to value the purpose 
in your life and the purpose God has for your life more than staying connected to something that is going to hurt you. You have to decide what you want more. Do you want to stay stuck in something that is harmful to you because of comfort or fear? Or do you want all the things that God has for you and all the things that you could become? Number four, remain committed to the direction you're going to moving forward. And I know you're wondering, how do I get rid of this friend though? How do I just just drop them? Like, what do I do? I don't want to hurt their feelings. Here's the deal. If you move forward, people who don't want to move forward with you will automatically begin to drop off. Now, it doesn't mean there won't be repercussions. doesn't mean they won't get mad. But you have to stay the course. Otherwise, you'll get sucked into something that you never want to be a part of in the first place. Number five, stop trying to make everyone else happy. What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? What do you want? You know what? Even stop trying to make yourself happy. The only person, the only person that you need to be making happy is God. He is the one who's going to take you in the right direction, who has the best for you. So stop. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard. But you have to stop trying to make everyone happy and do what feels good and what's comfortable. Because if you do, you'll find yourself stuck in things that you never ever wanted to be stuck in. Now, I want to tell you something that's super, super important and is what? Why are you coming? That's right. Get, right. Get out of here. Hello, my name is Professor Skeeto and I'm an expert in just about everything. But today, I'm going to be an expert in friendships. Perhaps you're like this balloon and you see your life going up in a gentle manner such as it just did. But you're connected with toxic friends who run around naked like this baby. Or toxic in other ways. And they're bringing you down. How do you deal with this? I'm gonna show you. First of all, you're gonna disconnect from those their friends. And you're gonna find some friends that are gonna be like you, that also wanna go up in a gentle-like nature. And you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna connect yourself with those friends. And both of you can move forward. Hey, thanks for watching this. I really hope that it helps. If you have any questions, please go ahead and drop them in the comments. We want to make sure that we're answering the questions that you care about. Please like, subscribe, share, follow us on Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, all those good things. We want to be there for you wherever you are. Have a good one. Greetings. My name is Professor Skeeto. I'm a professor of just about everything. We're today. Good evening. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. My name is Professor Skeeto. I'm a brilliant. <laughs> anyway. Hey, with today. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Hello. Hey, yeah. Hi. Um, I was trying to see if I could order some healthy parental love and acceptance.